Maggie Oceanside. I'm going to get banned from YouTube by Eric. We're going to make a drink that has the use of celery bitters. Is it going to be good or is it going to be bad? You decide. Watch the show right now. Save 15% off at awesomedrinks.com. Coupon code CMC215. Welcome to Man Cocktails. I'm, I don't know who I am. Derek's over. That's Ian. That's Curd. You can tell a couple drinks in. Are we? Yeah. Like six, who you are. Six drinks, two, <laughs> six drinks, two reviews. Yeah. yeah. We're good to go. We're doing good. Oceanside. This recipe submitted by Eric. Castro. I should have known. I mean, Plugs, provisions. This is probably one of the most up-and-coming bartenders in the country right now. So this uh, Boilermaker, be New York City. Okay. Oh, you're gonna say he made the Boilermaker? Dude! And He's been around forever. Provisions in San Diego. Yeah. This dude is a monster when it comes to cocktails. He's not the king of cocktails. But it, yeah, no, we always give that to Mr. DeGroff. Yeah, if you get it first, I guess you had a guy yeah. for it to go into me. Uh, so, two ounces of gin, three quarters ounce of lime juice, three quarters ounce of simple syrup. Boom! There's your balance again. Yep. One bites the other. It's like this, like the Decepticons in in the Autobot. Uh, a dash of celery or the GoBots and whoever their enemies were. Do they have uh, enemies? Yeah, the other GoBots. The humans. Um, the StopBots. No. StopBots. The, the opposite of the GoBots. Was that the, what was, was the ones that were the Crush like, was the car was the that was like stomping. What are the ro uh, What are the dinosaurs that were robots? Decept uh, Dinobots. Yeah. Dinobots. Yeah. Meet Grimlock. Me want to make cocktail. Um, a dash of yeah. celery bitters. She said that. <laughs> that I'm that. sure that was in the show. Yeah. Robot. Oh my god. Oh, oh, you know what I just watched yesterday? No. Tell us. Mask. The TV show? Yes. Mask. I don't remember how this song was, but it's Mask. Is it on TV? When you say that, I immediately go to the share movie. Yeah. With Sam Elliott. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, no, no. So you and the girl no, go to the share the cartoon movie. math. Come on, guys. <laughs> yeah, with, uh, what's his oh, name? Oh, Mask with Jim Carrey? I have no, idea what no with, with the, the Elephant Man. With the, yeah, the kid with the mask. Elephant Titus. Oh, that. The Elephant Man? No, it was called Mask. I thought oh, there was a movie called The Elephant no, Man. No, there was, there was a kid with a really bad facial yeah. deformity and. He wanted to be normal, and he fell in love with a girl, but then she broke his heart. And I she was normal. blind. Then yeah. he hung out with a biker group, and they were cool. What? <laughs> okay, whatever. It all made sense somewhere. Yeah. yeah. If you yeah. saw the movie, you'd get it. A couple drops. Mike. Ah. Oh. So, were we talking about the cartoon? Or no? Yeah, I was talking okay. about the cartoon. <laughs> okay. There's so many mask references out there. I, I used to have so many mask toys. Uh, oh, so Corvette many. Flipped them upside down, shot like discs out. See, this is not yet. It's coming. Dude, it's coming. Thank you, Chuck. It's very celery ish. On your game. Look. Okay. What am I not? <laughs> Sometimes, I guess. This is a two year old. It's a fair question. <laughs> but careful, that cap's not running away. Really? This is a one to one. Are you sure? Yes, it poured like a one to one. <laughs> it's definitely, definitely. one to one. I swear it says it was a two to one or something. No way. No way. No way. Uh, it's a not so whiskey sour. That's no, it, it just definitely. You got thinner. the saline in there? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I had to put it in there because he would have forgot, like a douche. <laughs> <laughs> All the love in the world. <laughs> I swear I saw two of them. What's the ingredient list there? That's how you tell your ratios. No. Oh, I know. More water than cancer. Yes. <laughs> there you go. More it could be like a little bit more. Ingredient. So it doesn't mean two to one. If it were two to one, then sugar would be I mean, first. it doesn't mean one to one. I would also like to say that we've gone through the whole week doing the double metal tins, and he's never had one lock up on. Is, what's the other side of this? Is it a Carico? Yeah. yeah. yeah it's both sides are the same brand. <laughs> That's I the thing about, doing that. thing about metal tins. I don't even that, know where uh, you found both Carico. I love I, I think metal tins. Dave Arnold said in Liquid Intelligence that at some point with the metal tins, it was you have to either buy them in matching, this, matching right? sets. I did. You're either buying them in matching sets, or you'd have to find two that match well Which together. Which is why I found two yeah, that yeah. match well together that are missing, because I don't know where they went. Right. Anyway, that looks like a daiquiri. Right? It does look like a daiquiri. Same everything looks so like a daiquiri. <laughs> look, gin, Yeah, we're lime, serving everything in a syrup. coop. <laughs> gin, lime, simple syrup. The only thing that's missing is mint, and it would be Chicago's outside. Yeah. Okay. Or no. Bitters. It would be a cell side. Yeah. Bitters. And bitters. it would need lemon juice instead. Okay. Thoughts on this whole use of celery bitters in here? I'm, I'm, I'm worried. I'm interested. Interested is one way of putting it. This guy doesn't let me down, so I'm not really worried about it. Yeah, I'm not worried. I've put worse in my mouth recently. <laughs> <laughs> like last episode. Like last episode. <laughs> These are out of I'm order. I'm guessing I put last. Oh, well, who knows it? That episode will probably be like at the end of the month, but you'll eventually see it. Boozy. Is that boozy? 
Am I wrong there? No, it's boozy. Boom. It's a big, big ass ball of thing. Yep. Celery bitters play. Yeah. I'm I mean, trying to find them myself, but I just took a dash of celery bitters. They're from totally them. in there. Yeah, that's a good they're, place. They're to, the mid rhino. It's a good drink to use uh, celery bitters in. That's not a Bloody, Ma Bloody Mary. Yeah, that's the only drink to use besides. I mean, the only, uh, the only time we've seen celery bitters Dude, play. I wish more bars would use celery bitters because then I'd sell more. <laughs> that would be awesome. Well, I mean, that's why we got to make more shows like this. Well, do you think a bartender is going to go like, "Oh, I'm going to go make that in New York and be all uppity uppity"? I don't Maybe. think so. Well, they should, because Eric's, Eric's I the understand man. they should follow us and do what we tell them, but people aren't always as smart as you hope they will. I don't know. We just pass on the good word. It's a banger. That celery is sweet. I know, that's it's a second That's a second order cocktail. Mm. Could be. Second order? Maybe. I don't know if I'd order two. I would. Mm. I, I, I would enjoy it, I'm, but I don't know if I'd order two. If you, like, let's say you started with a daiquiri, I and you're like, oh, salsa. I want to try something different, Yeah. and then you were given that. I, I tend to. I go back to the daiquiri because I like rum. My standbys tend to be whiskey cocktails for my repeats. Mm -hmm. um, I like a gin, gin tonic as a repeat. I, I just think well, it's not, it, not. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying look, it's probably too sweet for me to go back. It's better than a gin and tonic to me because yeah, I'm not okay. a gin and tonic drinker. Yeah, it's way um, leaps in that. But the thing is, it, and it's fine cocktail. But having had the exposure to the South Sides and the Chicago South Sides and all the gin and sours that I've had. The celery bitters are cool, but I have grown to oddly like the taste of Angus Fruit bitter or, or the whatever it is. So out of all the ones that we've had so far, the one with the cucumber and oh, yeah, that was, great. was that, that was the really best good. out of the group? Yeah, that yeah. the Dave Arnold one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was really good. Was that the Dave Arnold? One? Um, I don't think that was the that Dave Arnold. The one. Dave Arnold. Dave Arnold was basil. Yeah. Okay, right. Uh, Romeo. And Toby Juliet. Maloney. Juliet and Romeo. Pouring ribbons. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that had it, the the thing is the cucumber was interesting. This has a good use of celery. But it's it's not as interesting. It's a fine cocktail. Yeah. Just not as interesting as the other. So if I was at a place and I ordered this and I didn't have those other interesting cocktails to go from, it's fine. It's interesting because of the celery. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I like I the fact that there's something you can do with celery. It's a good use of celery bitters. If somebody finally, if if you hand a bottle to somebody, they, this needs to be a TV show. Just be like like Hell's Kitchen or something. We're like, oh, here's celery bitters, and I'm gonna punch you in the face. And you better make something good with it. Yeah, or exactly. You're and I'm going to take away your glass. You're going to make it in the bottle. You're like, whoa! You know, like, there's, there needs to be you more weird show ideas. <laughs> I know. I'm just throwing that we out We have there. got to pitch this stuff to Nesson. <laughs> it's got to happen. Uh, I thought they only had NASCAR on that. <laughs> no, they have cooking shows. I NASCAR thought... cooking? Yeah. Okay. Is it NASCAR or is it only anything that? Question of the day. Question of the day. If you're forced to drink a bottom shelf whiskey straight, which one? Best whiskey, bottom, well, bottom shelf, shelf whiskey. whiskey. Bottom shelf based on price, not based on per perspective, not uh, based on Jim preference. Jim White label. Is that not bottom shelf? That is mid shelf. No, that's bottom shelf. Dude, <laughs> define bottom shelf. Jim, that's what I'm saying. Jim Beam is not bottom shelf whiskey. N uh, Admiral Nelson is bottom shelf. Oh yeah, and that's right wrong. Uh, whatever. Old, they make uh, other Old Crow. Old Crow. Mm-hmm. I don't even know what a bottom shelf whiskey is. Well, not, not, not to be a snob, I just shelf whiskey. Yeah, maybe. Black well, Four Roses like used to be. It's Canadian not anymore. No. You can get <laughs> well, the yellow. What's the uh, Canadian Club? Uh, Canadian yeah. Club is not now. They're still middle. They're up there. What's with, the one that Dr. Plummer's father drinks? It's, it's I don't know Dr. Really, Plummer's father. No, you don't. But I, I don't even know his mother. <laughs> I don't even know him. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> it's just always around the okay, house. Thanks for that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's last time I think aloud. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe other people have a better answer. What's your favorite yeah, bottom shelf liquor? Was that a <laughs> liquor? Was that the question? Was it just liquor? Yeah. Oh, whiskey. Bottom shelf whiskey. Yeah. Evan Williams is black. Is a bottom shelf. Yeah, it is. Yeah. What well, is the cost? A of lot of the stuff whiskey? that comes out of Heaven Hill, it kind of Four falls into that yellow label. Yeah, yellow is is. Yeah, that's still mid shelf. If if it's Jim Beam still, isn't. If Jim Beam isn't yes. bottom shelf, then it competes with with JD and those guys. Then it's going to be right there. Yeah. I I don't think I've ever had a real bottom shelf whiskey, so I don't think I'd have a favorite I've had a ton or of them. ever. I don't know. Um, so Old Crow is probably my favorite out of that group. We'll get back to you after no, we have if some taste. Forced to drink it. Not, it's not your favorite. Oh, if you're forced to drink it, what will you For drink? I would drink whatever I'm forced to drink because that's how forcing works. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't know. That's how forcing works. I don't want to drink the Evan Williams right. Black anymore. It's a good point uh, <laughs> in your defense. No, I, I would like if somebody said here, have you have to drink one of these four shitty whiskeys? Which will it be? I'm like, I don't know. That one. I don't care. Just right. Give me shitty whiskey. whiskey. Put it in my what, mouth. What is Jack Daniels cost in the states? Uh, uh, what do we get? Is fourteen bucks? 
Uh, no 16, 18? We're in New Hampshire, so probably 14 here then. Mm. Is the States. And in like Norway, that's like uh, uh, $78. Did you say Norwals? Norway. <laughs> no! <laughs> that's it. We're going to get out of here because it's, uh, gonna happen. it's and stop o'clock. Anyway, we're done. We're teaching you how to drink. Water for us, a honey. I kind of brought them together because oh, wow. honey's super thick. It is, yeah. Then I it added, I, I got the thing boiling, <laughs> so I got it to thin oh, it out, to out like a like a simple syrup, right? Wow. Really? <laughs> I gotta get the syrup to sell, otherwise it's gonna stick.